The Aztecs were a Mesoamerican civilization that flourished in central Mexico from the 14th to the 16th century. Except they were not Aztecs. While Aztec is widely used today, historically and more accurately, the Aztecs were actually known as, and called themselves, Mexica. So what happened? Why are the Mexica today widely referred to as Aztecs? And why does it matter? And can we really blame it all on one guy? Probably. Here on the channel, in order to feed our own algorithm overlord, we use the two terms Aztec and Mexica interchangeably, with hopefully a clear emphasis on the Mexica part. The name Aztec comes from the Nahuatl language and roughly translates to the people from Atlan, reflecting their mythical place of origin. But the term refers to all of the tribes that came from Atlan, including Atlan itself translates to place of whiteness or place of the white herons. Chico Motsuk, or the place of the seven caves was located there. Although there is some debate about whether Atlan actually existed, historians, including the Mexica themselves, have long speculated about the possible location of Atlan. If it did exist, it would likely have been somewhere in northern Mexico or in the southwestern US. Like the Romans who legendized the founding of Rome by linking it to the ancient city of Troy, the Mexica too came up with their own legendary account of the 259 years long journey to find their fabled home. Then Huitzilopochtli instructed the Aztecs, capture those who fell here. They will be the first sacrificial offerings that you make to me. They put the Mimashkoas over the plants as if these were sacrificial stones and the priests sacrificed them. Then Huitzilopochtli proclaimed, Now you will no longer be called Aztec. Now you are Mexica. So now called Mexica, put feathers in their ears and painted a stripe on their face. And Huitzilopochtli gave them a bow, the arrow, and the net. The Mexica received the weapons with their left hands. Then they shot an eagle with an arrow, which is to say they shot the sun. After this offering, the now called Mexica followed on their path and they walked and walked. And walked. This crucial renaming event comes from La Tira de la Peregrinación de los Mexica, or the Tale of the Mexica Migration, also known as the Codex Buturini. The Codex Buturini is a Mexica codex which depicts their migration from their ancestral home of Atzlan to the basin of Mexico. The codex was completed about 20 years after the Spanish conquest in 1521. According to the codex, the Aztecs, led by the patron god Huitzilopochtli, embarked on a journey in search of a new home. The codex describes these trials and tribulations and the 28 stops along the way. But as we just saw, while the Mexica did originally come from Atzlan, they considered themselves Mexica after being ordained as such by their patron god, Huitzilopochtli. The legendary migration from Atlan, as recorded in texts like the Codex Buturini, held profound cultural and spiritual significance for the Mexica. By identifying themselves as Mexica, they asserted their distinctiveness as a people with a unique destiny shaped by divine intervention. The name Mexica carried a sense of pride and unity. Mexica was a declaration of the resilience, determination, and divine favor in overcoming the challenges of the migration and then establishing the most powerful city-states in the basin of Mexico, or Anahuac. Basically, they weren't just latecomers to Anahuac, they were Mexica, destined to do great things. In their book, Moctezuma, Aztec ruler, leading Mesoamerican researcher Leonardo Lopez Luján and Colin McEwen write that Quote, the Mexica people at no time referred to themselves or their city-states, not to mention their empire, as Aztec. At the time of the conquest, the Spanish referred to them as Mexicas or Mexicans. End quote. So, we can't really blame the Spanish conquistadores for this particular misnomer fam. So, if the Mexica name was so important to them, and they did not call themselves Aztec, and even the Spanish conquistadores called the Mexica, how did the Aztec designation come about? Lopez Luján and McEwen go on to blame 19th century Prussian naturalist Alexander von Humboldt for originating the name Aztec, and American historian William H. Prescott for popularizing it. Published in the early 19th century, Humboldt's Views of the Cordilleras and Monuments of the Indigenous Peoples of America covers his extensive travels in Mexico and South America. In his multi-volume work, he documents his observations on various indigenous cultures, including the Mexica. However, 
In all fairness to Humboldt, Humboldt uses the two terms, Aztec and Mexica, interchangeably, leading us to historian and semi-blind Nepo baby Prescott. Prescott was arguably the main driver in popularizing the name Aztec through his influential work, The History of the Conquest of Mexico. In his book, published in 1843, Prescott uses the term Aztec a lot. Like, a lot. He, in fact, never refers to them as Mexica. Instead, he starts his massive history epic with, quote, the country of the ancient Mexicans, or Aztecs, as they were called, end quote. Prescott may have adopted the term Aztec because it was easier to distinguish the indigenous group from contemporary Mexicans. Or possibly, it was because Aztec sounded much more exotic to his English-speaking audience. Or maybe it was because a biscuit hit him in the eye at Harvard and he was literally blind? Okay, yeah, it's probably not that. Despite the historical misnomer, Prescott's work gained widespread popularity and became a standard reference for English-speaking readers interested in the history of the Spanish conquest of Mexico. As a result, the term Aztec has been widely and mistakenly used ever since. Thanks, long-winded bro. Prior to Prescott's sprawling history, the term Aztec referred specifically to those coming from Atzlan, while Mexica would correctly refer to the founders and rulers of the city-states of Tenochtitlan and Tlaltelolco. Mesoamerican historian and professor Camila Townsend puts it simply by writing, quote, In a few texts that discuss the exodus from Atzlan, we find the word Azteca, but nowhere in any of the rich sources that include any natural speech do we find the people we are interested in referring to themselves as Azteca. It simply didn't happen." End quote. In short, Mexica is a far more historically accurate term for what many people today call the Aztecs. Aside from being, well, right, the historical significance of the Mexica name also lies in its deep-rooted connection to their migration myth, their divine destiny, and their assertion of a distinct cultural identity. Basically, the name Mexica reinforces their identity as Huitzilopochtli's chosen people destined for greatness. Last, but definitely not least, Mexica doesn't exoticize a people and culture that is still very much alive today. The Mexica people and their culture is not gone. Today, over 1.5 million people still speak some variant of Nahuatl, and the majority of people in Mexico consider themselves mestizo as they descend from either the Mexica or some other indigenous group. Most notably, Mexica culture lives on and can be seen in the religion, food, art, and celebrations of today's rich and vibrant mestizo culture. Now, you are Mexica. Thanks for watching. If you want to learn more about the Mexica, specifically about the illustrious eagle and jaguar warriors, click here.